Hey up troops, hey Wilson here again. I know, just bear with me, I'm on the other side of this mirror, just bear with me a second. Let me see if I can just try and punch this canister, hang on. Oh, that's much better. Right, let me just pull up a chair and we'll, we'll crack on. So as you can probably tell, in this video, we're going to be talking about mirror. Now you may have noticed in the intro there, I said I'm going to pull up a chair, specifically this chair. This is the Thunder X3 that was recently sent to me by Overclockers and Thunder X3. Now, just bear in mind, what I'm about to tell you, I'm not being paid for it. They sent me the chair and I said, if it's any good, I'll shout it out in a video. Why am I shouting out in a video? Because it's very, very good. So there's just three things I want to say about the chair. One, the lumbar support is unbelievable. I suffered a rugby injury a good few years ago and my back is always aching. However, the lumbar support on this chair is not just a pillow. It has like a pad that moves around on almost like on a ball joint. I'll put a link in the description. There's a video of what you can see what it does. But if I lean to the left, it follows me. It follows where my back goes. So even when I've got terrible posture, I'm still supported in the chair. There's two other things as well. One, you can move the seat part of the chair backwards and forwards. So if you want more distance between the bottom of the chair and the backrest, you can move it forward if you've perhaps got longer legs. If you've got shorter legs, you can bring the seat back in. You can really adjust it to however you want it. And finally, if you're getting really in the mood for a game of ranked, there's a little thing at the back I've just changed there. I don't know if you saw me flip up. You can tilt it forward. So if, like me, you play leaning forward, you can tilt the chair forward and the backrest is still there supporting you. And when you want to chill, you can flick it back. And now you can see I'm in a bit more of a sort of slumbered position rather than leaning forward. Three things that I've never experienced on another chair. And let me say again, I'm not being paid for this. They sent me the chair and said, try it out. And I said, if it's any good, I'll give some positive reviews. And it's good, so I'm giving positive reviews. Enough chair talk, back to mirror. Why is mirror good? Well, mirror can essentially see through walls and you can see them and they can't see you. Literally an unbelievable operator. The only thing is, she is that good, so she is banned in a lot of games. Now, mirror has changed somewhat over the years and will get better next season the reason she'll get better is because you can no longer grenade from below next season therefore mirror is safe to stand behind mirrors at the minute you can clear mirror out if she's above you behind a mirror because you can just nade from below yes now you could still book from below of course but there's a risk with that because mirror can now see you through the floor as well however there's a few of these strats which i'm going to mention as well where you get to play on hard floor so you're completely safe Honestly, some of the strongest strats around. I actually went into a couple of quick matches and gave a couple of examples of mirrors. Now, this was just tonight when I recorded it, so not every round goes to plan. Like, I did set up the mirrors, and then sometimes the rounds get a bit chaotic, but it's still playing mirror, and it gives you a good example of what to do. And then, of course, we'll get into the rank maps and show the setups. This intro's been longer than one I've done for ages, so thank you again to Thunder X3 and Overclockers for sending me the chair. It's enough waffling. Let's get stuck into it. So we're on CCTV cache on quick match. This isn't the best site for a mirror, but we're going to make it work. I'm going to reinforce this wall. And we're going to use this to hold construction door. Wall secured. And the second mirror. Gosh. We're going to place... Can place to watch garage. I don't like doing that because you just get smoke from the breach pretty quickly. Um, no one's going to play on this wall, so I'm going to put it on here for now. And I'll be able to see through that mirror and that mirror. Now, this smoke absolutely loves... Uh, last round, I played mirror as well. And the smoke kept playing on my mirror there as well. So what we can do is we're going to play on this mirror. And then if they push into construction and we can't do anything about it, we're going to fall back to that mirror. Is this external wall reinforced? Oh, no. This could go wrong. So I'm just going to use this mirror to begin with to try and get some information. C4 holes across the top of this wall. And a quick rotate left hand side. Who's just died? Oh, that's CC window. Lovely. Let's go and pre-fire CC window. Ow, oh, they've given they've got top red somehow, no. Oh the maverick in the wall. Okay, nice. I appreciate a good maverick. Takes a lot of skill. Oh they've map tricked it as well, nice. Okay. Anyone out there? Oh, there is. Oh, bottom garage, maybe. Oh, no way. Oh, my God, that just happened. It was that book. I thought that book sounded like it was bottom garage. Was that book? Yeah, it was. No way, that was... That was book, yeah. That book sounded like it was bottom garage, so I was going to go and pop this window here and try and look down to bottom garage there. That hasn't gone so well. All right, there must be the Maverick on the breach, I guess, now. 
Is he on? Wait. Is he on this window? Surely we pre fire construction here. Eh? Or has he gone over to master and jumped in? Oh, he's on the roof. Okay. Oh, let's have some fun there. He's in. Shh, secret squirrel. Reloading. On the pudding, guys. Bosh. Nice. Not really mirror used really well, but we did get the info that they came through into construction. Nice little shot there as well to correct what was a bad peak. So we're on open area on bank now, and this isn't one that I'm going to mention in the video, but it's sort of one that I've been I've been forced to play this side. I can't put the mirror down for some reason. Hello? Well, I can't put the mirror down then. Oh, I know why. No, wait, what? Ten seconds left. Not enough service to deploy. I've never not been able to put a mirror on there. Wait, is it like you have to get a pixel or something though? Wow, that you have to like find a pixel to get it on. We want to reinforce this wall quickly. Wow, that was mad. I've never, ever noticed that before. Although I haven't put a mirror there for a while. The reason we do two mirrors here, we can now hold the window by peeking here, and we can now hold the entrance into uh, kitchen from there as well. We can also hold that window through there. That, I, I've never noticed that before. I suppose it's because the mirror's such a tight fit in there. It has to be right. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Uh, obviously, the thing we've got to watch is the vertical above, which will make a little hole to try and watch if anyone jumps the stock window. And also the... I don't know why I was just getting shot. Oh, what they've made. Oh, that's someone in blue, is it? Just need to watch there, the other vertical board. Which sounds like there is. Oh, that's an issue. We're sort of panicking a bit here. Oh, I nearly had that ace then. Let's get back behind the mirrors, but also need to watch for the vertical. Oh, is that? Oh no, that was the moving sign above. That was that was the moving sign. He is above. Oh, he's there. What? Hello? Ace is still outside there. I'm really worried about above. I did not hear that fuse drop. I should have died then. There's another drone in here somewhere. Are you going above as well? Oh, I think I just saw one above. Oh, I got it. Wow. Yeah, so this, we need, you need to have someone above holding stock, by the way, for this to work well. This has been an absolute nightmare of a round, but somehow we've ended up still on full health with two kills and a pretty chaotic round. Um, I'm not mad. I like this as army battery to protect me from that, though. Not here. The last one, yeah. That guy I shot above there must have been one HP. I think he's just peeked those head holes, has he? Is he gonna come in kitchen? Go. Oh dear, Andy. Oh dear me. Do not watch the first part of that kill back, please. Anyway, I am gonna show this one in the video. I've got two other mirror strats for the video, but there's a free one for open area as well. If you've ever wondered where that sound's coming from when you're here in lounge, it's this speaker. Shoot the speaker. Welcome to Bank. We seem to always start with bank. We started with bank on the Capcom video. We're going to start with bank here on the mirror video. So let's just set the size up as it normally would be. I've made the rotates for us. This wall would also be reinforced. I tell you what, let's reinforce the wall. We've got all the time in the world. I'm not in a rush. I hope you're not. So what you see some people do is place the mirror here, which can be strong. However, this is a soft floor and you can easily get rid of the mirror from there or from some of the windows that you can challenge on. The play to play this, in my opinion, is to use this mirror setup here, reinforcing these two walls and making standing, um, not vertical rotates, but standing rotates so you can get through. So the bigger than crouch rotates will come on to why you need to be bigger rotates in a second. What you then need to do is place your mirrors on this wall on the left hand side. 
And on this wall, on the right hand side. Now, this is where you need to turn into Picasso on the map. We need to start making some, uh, some lines of sight. We need to make a line of sight all the way down this wall. Talk amongst yourselves whilst I reload the shotgun. If I was any good, I'd probably edit this bit out, but I'm not, so... I'm not editing the reloading out. I've got stuff on, man. I'm too busy. Then we want a line all the way down the uh, stock wall. It's kind of a similar setup to an extent of what we do on the castle setup. Except with mirror. Oh, I've run out of shotgun shells. Oh, no. Um, well, that goes all the way down there. Anyway. The reason this is so good is because from one corner of meeting, table, conference, whatever you want to call this, you can now hold stock, and you can now hold janitor door, and you can hold the side windows, and you can hold the walk-in if you're shooting some of this stuff out of the way. You can hold the walk-in to what we call the main breach top square. So you can hold top square, windows, jan door, stock, also main stairs. You can see a little bit down towards elevator, but not much. Yes, you've got to be careful of this wall. And yes, you've got to be careful of anybody walking up banana stairs here, or spiral stairs, whatever you want to call them, and holding this kind of angle to see you through there. I nearly shot my own mirror out then. But the beauty of this is, if you were going to be playing here, like we mentioned before, where the floor is soft, you can get the mirror off here quite easily with a book below, and all you've got to do is hit the mirror there. Bear in mind, this floor is completely hard, so you're completely safe from below. You can't be naded from below, although that won't be relevant next season. I still can't get my head around that. Um, not I can't get my head around the change. Like I can't believe that it's not going to be a thing. Like I'm really looking forward to playing defense and being able to stand in places that I've never normally been able to stand in. But anyway, back to mirror. This is a hard floor, so you can chill here, knowing that one, your mirrors can't be shot from below by book or someone else just shooting through the floor, and two, you're safe from any explosions below as well. It's a really solid place to be able to hold four pretty busy choke points on the map when they're attacking this side. Obviously, if they attack lobby side, you're kind of in trouble because you can only really hold this window from there. Um, but you can still hold windows from other angles, of course, like this. It just means that the mirrors are not going to come massively useful if they come from the lobby. However, 99's out of... <laughs> I've messed up 99 times out of 10, I don't believe it. 99 times out of 10, way oh, they're coming from this angle on the east and south side. Welcome to Bank Basement, where I'm going to show a slightly alternative mirror setup to the usual. Normally, we reinforce this wall and we place the mirror right here. That works really, really well most of the time. However, you have to be super careful of attackers that just prone drop onto the red hallway or um, red corridor hatch here. What you'll get is someone who just drops here and just prone straight away. And before you can do anything, you're dead because you're holding the mirror here and they just drop out the sky there. You can't even see the hatch. Before you know it, if they prone drop, you've had it. However, if you place your mirror on the next wall back, yes, you can't stand on the mirror unless you've got someone playing garage. If you've got somebody who's playing around here and holding garage the whole time, then you can do that. If no one's playing garage, you have to stand further back. You've got to stand like here. But let's place the mirrors down and have a quick look. So the mirror there, and then we've got a reinforced wall this side with another mirror here. In fact, I'm going to crouch place this one. I'll show you why in a second. So, yes, if someone's playing garage, you can play the mirror here really close and still hold pretty much the same angles that you could hold if the mirror was on this wall in front. If nobody's playing garage, you've got to play further back out of the line of sign of garage, but you can still see everything that's going on. You know, you don't need to be able to see into garage. What I haven't mentioned, by the way, is make never reinforce this wall. You want to be making head holes here as well. Because now from here, you can see if anyone's getting sneaky behind the server rack. So, yes, like I say, garage, you can play on the mirror close to it. If no if no one is in garage and someone might push that way, obviously you can't be stood here because you're going to get a shot on the side of the face. Move back slightly. And you can still do exactly the same thing, just from a bit further back. The beauty of having it on this wall rather than this wall is that you can now also hold main stairs with the mirror as well. And the reason we crouch place it is because if you stand up, you can't really see because the mirror doesn't go up, but you can see if we were stood up, we would get less of a view of the top of this platform on main stairs. So if you crouch here, you can see what's going on on main stairs. And if you need to, you can now nip over and also hold server all within about three seconds of each other. Less than three seconds. Um, the only thing is with, with the mirror being here, yes, it means you can hold a couple of different areas. Don't forget as well, always make this rotate on the left-hand side of this wall. 
Because if you make it on the right hand side of the wall, anyone who's holding the long angle from server... I don't know why I didn't reload that all the way. Anyone who's holding the long angle from server can see you there. Whereas if the ro rotate is here, they're not going to be able to see you go through there. I've seen people put it there and they just get smoke from anyone holding way back there. Um, the only thing is with it being on this wall and not this wall, it makes the C4 throw a little bit less reliable. However, you can still get it to land on the desk. You can still get it to land like here, which would mean that it would still kill the person that's planting there. It takes a little bit of practice. I mean, I've only got one try to show you that this actually works, but let's try it. Boom, you can... Oh, I mean, that's gone unbelievably well, to be honest with you. You can see that if that C4 goes off there, it's definitely killing anyone that's planting here. I'm not going to throw that again, because there's no way I'm going to get as good a throw as that. <laughs> so, yeah, don't remember... I'm going to repeat myself now, because I see people... Well, I say I see people. I've seen someone do it once, because I don't... People don't play the mirror here very often. They normally play it here. But I have seen someone die from here, because they were so worried about server... No one was playing garage. Somebody just crouched, walked up garage, and shot the guy in the side of the chops. So make sure if no one's garage, just to reiterate, and I know I've said this four times, but it's important, stand further back. And then I've also go and play main stairs as well. It's just a different way of doing it. We've seen this one here a million times. Just think about it slightly differently. Welcome to cafe. And if you ever see me stream, you've probably seen me do this strat numerous times. But if you haven't seen me stream, then let's show you. First one's dead obvious. Goes on cocktail, reinforced wall next to the rotate. And this one's just a hold cigar door. Anyone dropping new hatch or skylight, nothing complex about this one. Dead straightforward. Now, where it gets fruity is we're going to put a mirror on this reinforced wall on the right-hand side. However, don't put it all the way to the left like you would normally put a mirror. Put it slightly more to the right-hand side, which I know you think isn't right. I know you've probably just seen me do that and gone, what, what are you doing, you absolute weirdo? The reason we put this here is because any attackers that are on repel here can't now see the um, canister without... I think they can hold like a tiny little pixel if they go far enough over. And I don't think they can actually. I mean, I've never actually shot it from here. I'm just looking at the angle you'd need to be on to see it. I don't think they can get that angle. Whereas, if it's in the left-hand side, the canister is like here, and they can get an angle on it. Yeah, it's a very tight angle, but if you put it here, it now means it can't be shot by the mirror. Uh, sorry, by the, uh, the window. Now, the reason we put the mirror here is we don't get trapped is we go and make a long line of sight all the way through into piano. We shoot the speakers every time. And we go all the way across the bathroom wall as well. Now, depending what you play it, your teammates are doing, they might want to hold in bathroom. A lot of people do. But you can make a line of sight all the way across, depending on how far you want to go. Obviously, you don't have to go this far across. You can stop it at this point here, and somebody can play in bathroom. If not, you can make that line of sight, and now you can see all the way over to stage, window one, window two, and window three. I've just made that up. It's not called that. It's called stage repel, ticket repel, and south stage repel. I don't know why. They Hang on a minute. I'm just going to go completely off topic. Why is it called ticket? Like, is this supposed to be like a little ticket counter? It just looks like a bar to me. It's not people call it ticket though. Anyway, completely gone off the subject. Uh, back to the point. This is one of the strongest strats you can do on cafe because most of the attacks, if not all the attacks, the, occasionally you might get a cocktail attack like I showed on that video with Ying. Occasionally you might get a white stairs push. Occasionally, but 99 times. In fact, you know what? 100 times out of 10 for me in ranked recently, it comes from piano. It comes from red and new hatch. But if you're behind here, yes, you're not right on the edge of the mirror, I know, but it still gives you loads and loads of time to be able to pick off those shots. Hold the windows. Don't give your life up, Earl. You know, you don't, you don't need to stop peeking this a minute into the round. Just you being behind this mirror is enough of a problem that they know they can't hang around in piano. Make sure you don't get picked from that window if you're ever on this sort of angle here. Obviously, you'd be listening for the repel. Make sure at the start of the round, I know everybody knows this already, but if you are playing on a map where there's windows like this, make sure you shoot the glass out. It normally takes like five shots. Five shots to shoot the glass out as the sound propagates through the barricade, just the barricade. Sound doesn't come through the glass very well at all, but sound without the glass comes through the barricade fine. So you'll hear someone get on repel if they get on repel there. This is an in probably, it's up there with the strongest mirror setups for me. Being able to hold that busiest area, because holding piano itself is normally a nightmare, but being able to do it from here is cool. 
Obviously then as well, you've got this one. You don't really want to be diving from this mirror to this mirror if you can avoid it because you go across the busiest double door in the world. Everyone holding you from Cigar single door there. So you need somebody else to be playing here. Bear in mind, this is soft floor. This goes down into reading room. So you can get booked and have that shot out. However, the beauty of this one as well, like we talked about on bank, this is hard for. You don't need to worry about the mirror being destroyed from below. You don't need to worry about explosives from below. Or you won't need to worry about the next season anyway. I keep going on about that, but it's just so ingrained in my mind. that I can, Like, for example, when I'm defending and I'm playing Maestro or Echo on this side, I would love to chill out here or chill out here. But you can't because you just get needed from below in reading. Next season, baby, I'm playing Echo going prone like this and just chilling. I don't need to worry about being needed from below. So yeah, really strong setup. Let's go and have a look downstairs in kitchen. We're downstairs in kitchen now. And yes, I've reinforced both walls into bakery and I'm still going to put a mirror on it. This was shown to me literally this morning by Mr. Cheney, who very kindly comes into my Twitch channel and showed me this on Discord. I've never seen anyone do this. If you've seen someone do this, then fair play. Let me know in the comments. I've never seen anyone do this before, but it's pretty cool. So we reinforced both walls. We put a crouch mirror right in the middle. Now, bear with me. Bear with me here. We shoot the mirror out. But what's the point? I'll show you the point right now. Let me just go and open this barricade quickly. I don't know why I've ran round. I've literally just shot that mirror out, then ran round to shoot the barricade. Now, the reason we do this, or I've never tried this in-game, but I know it would work for a fact. We can now hold bakery door from here using this as cover. Now, the beauty of why this is solid is because we're going to see their feet way before they see us like we're gonna see them you know what like the one-way angles or the it, this is definitely isn't one way because someone could go prone out there but it's it's not a one-way angle but you can definitely see their lower half of your body their body before they see the top half of your body so from an attacking perspective if you're on this door bear in mind you that's the edge of the cabinet there you see that the silver line across the top so that's where we're going to be peeking from now we're prone if we want to see that if we're crouched, we can just about see it. If you stood up, you can't see it. Now, bear in mind, from here, we'd be able to see all of our waist and legs. From here, we can't see any of them, and it's reinforced above as well, obviously. Now, to go prone, if you go prone, you're going to get smoked by the guy that's holding you from there anyway. I just think it's a really strong, almost one-way angle until they go prone. To hold from here with this bit of cover as well. It's just something they're always going to have to worry about. You can hold around the side. You could hold... Oh, didn't mean to do that. You can hold around the side. You can hold up on the top. Uh, second mirror, up to you. This is a classic as well, obviously. Doesn't matter where you put the second one. Well, I mean, it does, because it always helps put a mirror in a good spot. But this is a really good one to hold red stairs late into the round and to hold small bake window. Also, to stand tight like this and look down the long haul and to hold coat check. A really solid mirror. Just be careful, obviously, that if you're probably not going to play that mirror there, if you're going to open this. Because you, if you're opening this, you can't take your eyes away from it. And you certainly can't turn your back to play this mirror. You're going to get a shot in the back from bakery door. So this one is just in, like, a sort of generic mirror. You can put one here as well on a soft wall. Make sure you keep this soft. You can put one here to watch the double door. You get a better angle than they do if you hold it from here with a soft wall. Yeah, but this, never used it in game. Maybe I'll try and get in a quick play and, and give it a try, but I think that would work really well. Because like I say, you're going to see them much earlier than they see you. Thank you again, Genie, for showing it me this morning. Welcome to Skyscraper, a map that I feel we don't talk a great deal about. However, we're over in the office exhibition site. I've already placed one mirror because I wanted to just test something before I recorded this, um, but I'll show you why we've already placed that in a second. This is a really, really fun strat to do. You can either put a crouch mirror here or a standing mirror. It doesn't really make a great deal of difference. Um, the key thing with this strat, though, is you must have wall denial. I need a Cade or Bandit or a Mute to stop this wall from being breached. Um, and also, we'll talk about this wall in a second. So what we do from here is we make holes all along this wall. I've seen people reinforce this side, but you can make holes all along the wall, or you can just reinforce this side and leave this side open up to you, really. I like open it all the way along. Now, from here, whilst playing on this mirror, we can now see anyone that comes down towards the breach and stop them coming down there. We can also, instead of opening the door so you have to run all the way around and possibly get peeked from drum, you can now be here behind the bar and run out if you see someone getting fruity down there and come back to your mirrors so quickly. If you don't want this run out open, you can reinforce this, but this has to be, again, you, you have to have wall denial on this, otherwise someone's just going to breach it. And the, this, this run out works well because you know no one can pass this point because you're watching the mirror. So you know no one's like, as you run out, you know no one's going to be here. Granted, you've got to listen for the repels because they could repel up and then come down to this angle, sure. 
Um, but you've just got to listen for that and use your audio. Again, if you don't want that, there's nothing wrong with reinforcing this. Be careful, obviously, from Drum and from Terrace. But this is just... No no um, attacker is expecting this because everyone reinforces this wall and puts wall denial on there. But from here, you can just hold that. No one can come and hold the breach. Like, they can't hold the angle that they want to to see into sight, which is, like, this angle. Like, yeah, they can see your mirror, but what they're going to do with that, they can't hold an angle like this because you're going to peek them from this spot here. So this is the only angle they're going to get. If they want to see more of the sight, they're going to get dome from your mirror. Just nipping back inside. Another beauty, like we spoke about before, hard floor. Don't have to worry about being booked from below. Obviously, some other angles you need to worry about uh, while you're playing here. This is a, a strategy I've seen hard baguette do so many times, and it works so, so well. But yeah, from here, just make sure no one comes past that breach and get really fruity if you want to by running out that way. The other mirror, the reason I put it down already is because when you reinforce that middle wall, you need to make sure you put the mirror on the far right-hand side, much like we talked about on the cafe side. The really reason why is from Samurai Window, you can't see that canister. Like, even if you try your best, you can't see it. We can see... Oh, we're going to ping the mirror. Let me just ping underneath. We can see there. So you can see that if that mirror was in the middle, the canister would be here, and you'd be able to pop the canister from there. So make sure it's on the right-hand side of this wall. And obviously, you can peek the breach if you want to. Now, if you're feeling particularly brave, and you're really confident that this mirror is going to win you the round, and no one's going to get anywhere near the breach, you can put this mirror the other way around, and you can have somebody playing here, Holding Samurai Window this side, holding House Stairs and into Dragon from this side. Obviously, you're going to have to be super confident in the guy that's playing behind this mirror. Because if an attacker peeks it from here, he's going to die immediately because he'll have his back to it. You've got to make sure this mirror player is doing what he needs to do to keep him away. I, I think that's probably a little bit too risky for me. Um, I like it this side. Being able to be another face holding that main contact point on the breach. Obviously, you can't step too far to this side because you're going to smoke from the window. Watch for the lure coming up house stairs. And eventually, once they realize they can't come from the breach, the attack's going to come from Terrace. It's going to come from Dragon. And, well, VIP through Dragon. Solid setup. I've only ever used this a few times in rank, but I've seen Baguette do it loads of times, and it works really well. So we're on to Villa now, and I've set the site up as you would normally see it, apart from these two walls. There's a reason for that. Bear with me. What most people are going to do is reinforce this wall, make head holes along here. This is the usual way of setting up Villa now. Gone are the days of reinforcing these two and these two walls. And then you're going to sign most people putting a mirror on this wall here. Don't do that. It's going to get absolutely smoke from anyone who's top red slash zombie just shooting that mirror off the wall or shooting you in the back even worse. What you want to do instead is reinforce both of these walls into study, which I know sounds a bit mad for mirror, but just bear with me. There's a, there's a method in the madness. You're now going to be able to hold two rooms from one mirror. Place it on the far left-hand side of the left-hand side reinforcement. That looks weird, right? Well, not when you do this. Open a line of sight here and make sure this is clean so you can peek study nice and cleanly. When I say clean, you know what I mean? Just there's no splinters on the edge of that surface there. So now from one mirror, you can hold zombie door, you can hold study window, and you can hold study door itself by coming all the way around. Now, you have got a second mirror, and I tend to put it over here so you can watch top main. This isn't really used that much. It's just you've got a, another mirror. You might as well put it down somewhere. You could even maybe put it on vault and keep put the mirror at the bottom and have it leave it soft so you can shoot over the top. The problem with that is if they take 90 window, you're in real trouble, and you can't really gamble on them not taking 90 window because it's so common. Um, so it's up to you what you do with your second mirror. You could go and put it off-site somewhere. To give the guys who are holding the north side of the map, you could give them a mirror to help them out. If not, you can put it here, and anyone playing north um, north stairs, I nearly called that there. Anyone playing main stairs can just peek onto anyone pushing down the long hallway there. But this one mirror this side is the key to this strat. You can, like I say, one angle, two angle, and three angles, all from one mirror. You don't need to put it on here so it gets shot. Obviously, you are susceptible to being on soft floor, so it could get booked from below, but ideally, you're going to communicate with your team and say, look, Someone's got to play below me here in living room library area to stop book booking up into this. Um, or is this, this is actually in the corridor, isn't it? So let me just test, sorry. This isn't living room library. This is in the corridor, I believe. Yeah, it's in the corridor. That's the living room library wall there. It's actually in the, the red stairs corridor. So this is, that's the door to bottom main there. So yeah, you've got to have someone around that corridor preventing book just opening the wall. Uh, sorry, opening the floor and just shooting that canister. I mean, how strong is that from here? 
the, the push generally isn't going to come from both sides, but it doesn't matter. Whichever side it comes from, you can cover it. Remember, if you're about to peek study door, you're going to expose yourself to study window quite a lot. You know, you've got to come around to this angle to peek it. You're going to get smoke from there if somebody's on it. So make sure that's clear before you peek onto study door and stuff. Welcome to border. Do not forget to board the helicopter. Right, just before we start talking about mirror, I just want to talk about these two walls. Completely unrelated to mirror. Just please don't reinforce them. It's usually this wall that gets reinforced. And all this does is gives the attacker a free plant to plant here. Yes, you could see four foot below. But, you know, let's assume you haven't got C4. You're giving him a free plant right here. Don't reinforce any of those walls. If anything, make feet holes across the bottom of those walls and make the attackers feel conscious about standing here with the toesies out because they're going to get shot in the ankle. The only thing is you do have to watch out um, for this angle. I'm just going to make the hole. This shouldn't really be here, but just pretend this isn't here. This angle here, you can see all the way through from there all the way through. You can't see around there, but if this is soft, remember see all the way through so just be careful not to be running around here or messing about around here if you've kept this wall soft anyway back to mirror we've reinforced the left hand side you guessed it was sticking a mirror on the right hand side now why is this good well this is good because we're going to make a line of sight all the way along the cctv now you can either at the start of the round you can come outside and do this or you can even do it from the door because shotgun range had got increased last season but I tend to just walk up a bit closer. It takes a little bit less time. Obviously, you're safe up here at the start of the round for a little while. Make a line all the way across CCTV wall, and we bob back in. Now, from here, we can hold anyone that peeks around the corner of the CCTV wall. Let's make a hole here. Peek anyone that peeks that. We can peek anyone that peeks that. And we can also then hold CCTV from the door. Bear in mind, you're not trying to get a pick here unless it's an absolute freebie. Don't try and peek a guy here and you don't know that there's someone on upside down rappel here. The whole fact that you're behind a mirror just watching what's going on around this area of the map is a nightmare for attackers. Don't give them a free kill by trying to overextend and get a, a pick where it was just a bit of a gamble. You might try and get a pick, you might not. The fact that you're here on a hard floor so they can't grenade you from below or they can't use a book from below to get rid of the mirror is an absolute nightmare. Now, one thing you can do if you want to take a risk and it depends what elo you're in if you're going to get away with this or not punch the bottom of the wall on an angle like this and go prone and hold right at the end of that corridor. People just run around this side here and it's usually a freebie. Just be careful. I know I just said don't take risks and don't give your life away for free, but use your brain. If you've seen a drone around this area in the prep phase, you're not going to get away with it because they're going to know this isn't reinforced, whereas most people like fly around that corner at the top because they think this wall and this wall are reinforced. So yeah, Hold here, hold into CCTV, and don't reinforce these walls. Coming over this side, this is another um, one-way mirror. I've shot this hole in this wall, but we're still going to roll with Another one-way mirror shown to me this morning by none other than Mr. Fettuccini, who showed me the one-way angle on Cafe as well. So much like we did on Cafe, place the mirror, shoot the canister. Now, what this gives you here from f slightly further... Oh, sorry, slightly further back is another one-way angle from behind this barrier here. Let me open the barricade. Another one-way-ish angle where attack... Bear in mind, this hole shouldn't be here. So where you're going to see the feet of attackers before they see your body, remember, this hole isn't here. So let's go to the top of here and see what we can see. Once this is... like Obviously, this hole's not there for the fourth time. We can't see... What we'll be peeking, which is here, you can't see that as an attacker from here. You can't see that. Whereas we, looking from behind that barricade, or behind this sort of metal sheet in here, are going to see the bottom half of attackers. But attackers aren't going to see you unless they crouch. By that point, you've already smoked them. And if they do crouch, not only can you see the waist, you're now going to be able to see the head when they crouch. So, it's again, it's a bit of a risk like the cafe one because you're giving a sort of free window into sight. Um, but if you're willing to hold here and you know it's an east take, then I think this is a pretty solid angle. You can go all the way back as well to this locker. And if can you peek around? You can go even further back. You can go even further back and get a longer one-way angle. I like it. Remember, this hole isn't here for the fifth time. I've not tried it in game. Cheney showed me today, and I think it would work in game. I'm going to test it when I play border next time. This one, however, is absolute money. Remember, don't give your life away. Cause a problem for the attackers by letting them know you're there behind the mirror watching every move. So there we have it. Mirror. Uh, genuinely unreal, isn't she? Great gun. C4. Sock a secondary shotgun? <laughs> secondary shotgun. 
and she can see through walls and she gets two of them. Great, great operator. You can really use mirrors to just make sites almost unattackable on some sides. As always, if you've watched this video once, 10 times, 50 times, for 10 seconds or for 10 minutes, thank you very much. The channel's nothing without you, the viewer who gets involved and watches it. I might make the videos, but what's the point if no one's out there to watch them? So thank you very much for getting involved. I mean it more than I can say at the end of a video for 10 seconds. I genuinely appreciate it. So thanks for getting involved, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!